song is for you. Out of 136 cinemas that we phoned, initially there was 12 cinemas that took up screening our film. My cinema distribution experience was probably zero. <laughs> Quite low on the experience of the cinema distribution arena. I thought I'd get a bit of, bit of trouble showing it here. We didn't know how Methan would react to having a movie that was quite controversial. The cinema has been in a bad way since COVID. Our attendances have been really low. We were looking at maybe closing the cinema at the end of the ski season this year and we just couldn't get anybody to be coming along. Of the cinemas that screened at week one, you know, we had four sites. I think week one we took 37% of the national box office. It was our top movie at all four sites for two weeks running. Perfect. Ticket sales have been wonderful. We've been sold out for most of our performances. Yep. Most of our audience is travelling up from Christchurch. People were driving from the West Coast, which is like four hours away, just to come and see the film. No one wanted to screen it in these big cities. So there was New Plymouth, no, nah, they didn't want to show it. So there was Opanaki, which is just a little tiny town. And, you know, people came from all over there to watch it. I was working the movie today and people are very excited about it. Excited to see it and buzzing when they get out. Yes. Awesome movie. You need to screen this. Everybody needs to see this. New Zealanders need to see this. Look, I went to the movies last night and I really want to talk about it. A classic, true documentary snapshot of what was happening in our country at a crazy time. It was totally crowdfunded by people, donors and people. None of your taxpayers' money was used. Anti-mandate was the clear thing that came out from the movie. It was a really sad chapter in our history and I want to commend all the people involved in making that movie and there were many of them. You've done this country a service. Get that shot. Get your Audiences have absolutely loved it. Every performance, people have cheered and clapped and I'll have the same tonight. I was really quite surprised to see how narrow-minded some of the cinemas were in ignoring a section of their community. So I'm proud to see that some of the smaller movie theatres and independent movie theatres had had the courage to take it on. After 11 days we've taken $30,700 gross box office, so it's, it's actually performing. I got a phone call from one of the cinemas in Christchurch and they said, you're number one. <laughs> I say, what? <laughs> they said, yes, you're number one in the country. Outselling Barbie and Oppenheimer. And then people started to phone me. That's great, thanks John. If you can send it to us as soon as possible, <laughs> that would be great. By far this movie has outstripped all the movies that we've ever had at the cinema. I've had this cinema for 11 years now and this one has wiped the floor with everything that I've had here. You know, we had one cinema operator who came and said it's unprecedented, the demand for screenings. Thank you, enjoy the movie. People were coming and booking two weeks in advance and he said, where are all these people coming from? <laughs> the same as us, if we live in shame. New Zealanders have this innate ability, I think, to sniff, see and sense bullshit. The people on the street say, this is bullshit. We're going to watch this movie because we want to, because it's interesting, because it tells us a story that you bastards couldn't be bothered telling us. One of the things the film does, in my humble opinion, is present a balanced view. And I don't think we've had that balanced view. So the conversation needs to start from that balance. We've had several of the members of the public hugging either myself or Richard to thank us for actually screening the movie. So very impressed with, with how the audience have reacted. People that have come to see this movie have opened their hearts to the theatre again and that I've had people reach out to me at how much they appreciate being represented. With this movie coming in, 
it's really made us think now that we'll keep the cinema hopefully going for as long as we can. Because I've been here 11 years now and I don't want to let it go. You can dismiss what happened at Parliament during that protest as the nutters, the cookers, the tinfoil hat wearers. That changed the course of politics in New Zealand. There's just no doubt about it. I had hesitation at first over how I would feel about watching it, but it was a very well-made movie and it actually made me think.